Hi guys, I uh, actually started a project and I was working on it and I thought, oh man, I should be videoing this thing. So I went and grabbed the camera, even though I'm kind of part way through this thing here. And that is, you know, what people want to be able to do with vans is to be able to block off the front chassis to the back and they sometimes use hard partitions, walls or metal or something and then they insulate it to keep the back part warm and 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 because this all this glass here loses a lot of heat at night, right? But uh, for me, that doesn't work at all, not with this rig anyhow. And, uh, well, the problem with it is it's, uh, you lose a lot of benefits of having that front like that to be able to spin around your front seat and have it part of your whole dining area because it's such a small space. But to go and block it off with a wood wall or a metal wall doesn't make any sense to me. But, um, you know, teach their own. So what we're trying to do here is uh, something completely different. We still want to be able to block it off, and it's actually, if you can see in there, it actually is blocked off, but, uh, but it's blocked off in a different way. And what we're doing is um, putting in a, I went to the uh, thrift store here and I <clears throat> picked up this blanket, it's actually a comforter. And this is actually the, what the other side looks like. It's black, like that. And um, so when you look from the other side, you just can't see inside at all. And what I've done here is it's gonna be kind of hokey here. I'm gonna be stapling it to the bottom partition here. And I'll show you how it's gonna work out after the fact. But the idea was, because right now it, just, it goes all the way to the floor. And I kind of overlapped it so it goes all the way aside and completely blocks that off. And it'll even actually, because it's so long, it will be able to go like that as well. It's like getting too dark um, for the camera. All right. Um, yeah, so with this, it's retractable. I'll be able to roll it up. I went and bought some... Uh, uh, Velcro straps at the thrift store for a buck and I'll anchor those up and I'll be able to roll that up the plan is and um, Be able to have it sort of out of the way anyhow And uh, this is fairly warm too. It's a fairly, you know, it'll be fairly thick And it's probably almost gonna be as warm as some of the uh, Hard wall solutions people have especially if they have metal with just a little bit of insulation but um Anyhow, uh, when I went to the thrift store, they wanted $30 for this, and there was a couple pillows that came with it. They're up here, and, uh, and I didn't want to pay 30 bucks for that because I'm kind of experimenting, and it might not uh, pan out. I might just end up giving it back to the Goodwill anyhow. It didn't work out, so I went and asked the clerk if they ever have any sales because there was a, a comforter there. I'm just wondering how long it's been there and if they want to get rid of it. And so it was $30. She went back there and they went down to 20 So just by asking, and I wasn't being obnoxious or anything, just a simple question, and they wanted to be able to move it too. So I got it for $20. Principle here, it's a very important principle in life, and that is uh, ask and you shall receive. If you don't ask, you won't receive probably, right? So by asking, I was able to save $10, and that was very easy $10 uh, to save and to make because... Uh, really, for me to have ten dollars to spend, I almost have to make twenty, don't I? By the time you go through all your other expenses to be able to have that extra ten dollars to spend, so uh, twenty dollars for probably uh, two minutes worth of effort, uh, pretty good, you know. Return on that. Well, okay, this is uh, basically where it's at now. That's actually with it being folded up over top. Doesn't look the greatest, I must admit. So I was poo-pooing the whole thing of a wall. And then you can spin that chair around and make it into a recliner and have it all a part of this whole area here. Because I have so much excess on the edge here, it's kind of bulged up. But that actually covers all the way around here. And that's nice because these you can kind of see in just past the edge, like when these are down. You can see how you can see in that a little bit, right? So by having that cloth come down over to here, you know, that'll eliminate anyone coming, peeking in. Here they have fiberglass insulation. This whole roof is insulated. Probably, I don't know, 
an R7 or 8 maybe at the very most when you factor everything in. But uh, you go ahead and put this blanket down like that. And man, you're, you're adding an R3 for sure. So that'll make a big difference. And actually this, um, it doesn't look that good right now, but uh, what goes up here anyhow is a bedding, you know, from down here. We want to keep that clean so that gets all rolled up and it gets thrown up here. Uh, all the lightweight stuff, you know, doesn't make the van top heavy, but it still has lots of space up there, really. It's just that you kind of see it, that's the thing, but you can try and make it nice. And then you're going to miss all of this, you know, being able to sit in here and and, you know, put your feet up. This wall would be right here, otherwise. It really cuts off a lot of, you know, airspace, feeling of space in your van. There's the old horse trailer. And that actually, I like to make that into an RV because that is one killer trailer. And it actually, um, all of that aluminum is 1 8 inch thick on the outside. So it's not just that little thin stuff that you see on these utility trailers. Like it's heavy duty. Yeah. Um, so eventually that's what's going to probably happen there, I think. That'd make a good four season uh, trailer. Anyhow, so there you go. Got to have a little footrest right here. I got to figure that out. I guess I can go here. That's not, well, that works. Not really. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, there you go. Another idea for your for your van situation. Something cheap, you know, $15 and then a stapler, a little bit of effort, and then you can have yourself a nice insulated area and uh, blackout curtain, the whole deal. I was going to buy actually a sleeping bag, you know, let's say at a store, but uh, came across that and it uh, works out good. All right, so here's another day. I... Uh how to do other things, so I just left it for a day. But uh, this is what it's going to be like when you actually go and put it all the way to the top. Um, if no one's going to be sleeping up there. So I put uh, three of these um, dollar store, you can get them, these uh, Velcro tabs. You got the male, female types or whatever. And so I've got three up there. And then I went ahead and put some along here on the edge. And that is for, I'll show you what that's going to look like. That's going to be when you pull the top down and then you want to have that uh, closed off. But uh, you know what, kind of funky, but uh, that is going to make a huge difference when it comes to, you know, two o'clock in the morning and it's cold outside. Absolutely. Okay, so this just pulls off. And these things don't stay on by themselves, like with the sticky tape, so I had to staple them. Uh, these got stapled. I also did it here as well, and then, oops, uh, folded it over on the back side. Not the prettiest, you know. Try to get the staple straight and look half decent, but. All right, so this is it uh, in the down position. And I went ahead and brought this all the way back to here now i have a problem with this you know with the weight of it i'm gonna have to probably put some thread through here and then maybe have a screw there and just have it so there's a loop you know built into the thread and hook it on just to alleviate that because i don't think this is going to stay i've got three of these tabs here but i don't know it's, <laughs> it's kind of strained but we can see yeah so there you go, blackout curtain. Since you guys uh, watched this far into the video, you get some bonus video. I'm not gonna be showing this build uh, as its own video, but um, just wanna show you what I've been up to. Can you get that? Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. It was a pair of Golden Ear Sat 3s and I had to custom build, bend, and install this whole thing. It's a fair bit of work, but uh, they're very secure, not going anywhere, and it's gonna sound really good. So there you go, audio is pretty important to me. So there you go, some bonus action.